Hello everyone, welcome back to our second scene all together. How was your break? Alright, I hope that your break was fun. So now let's move to our second scene all together. Let me focus on listening express one for today. And you still continue with unit two, fun with friends. So fun with friends, we focus on page 19, checkpoint. So there are three points that you are going to learn. We have point A, point B, and point C. So for point A, you have to listen, write the letter that best describes each picture. So in this exercise, you already uh, have met in unit one already. So now you just met again in unit two with different, with different, what? With different exercises, but the same main idea. So now the show would like to play three times for you to listen, and then you have to write the letter that may describe each picture. All right, class, so hopefully you can find it. Now, let's start. Checkpoint A. Listen. Write the letter that best describes each picture. A. The students are meeting at the library. They will study together. B. The girl is having a birthday party. All her friends are invited. C. The man is watching TV very late at night. He is falling asleep. D. The weather is sunny. The kids decide to go to the beach. Good job, everyone. Have you done? Hopefully that you can uh, find each picture well. Now it's time for you to check the answer with the chair. A. The students are meeting at the library. They will study together. Look at the picture. What picture they describe about the students are studying in the library? Great. This is about the pictures of number three. So number three, four letter, letter A. So now let's go to letter B. The girl is having a birthday party. All her friends are invited. So the picture that describes about a girl having a party of her birthday and also have a birthday cake is number number one. So number one, four letter, letter B. Now let's go to letter C. The man is watching TV every late at night. He is fall asleep. So the picture that a man is watching a TV and fall asleep is a picture of number number two. So number two, four letter C, and this one is letter D. So letter D, what is it, everyone? What is it? All right, the weather is sunny. The kids decided to go to the, the beach. Okay class, so hopefully you have the same answer with the teacher. Now let's go to point B. Listen, choose the unnatural or incorrect dialogue. It is mean that you have to choose the wrong answer. Which one is the wrong, which one is incorrect. After that, you have to circle that number. Are you ready? Now let's start. Check point B. Listen, choose the unnatural or incorrect dialogue. Number one. Let's meet at 2 o'clock. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Number two. The movie will start soon. Where are you? I'm sorry. I'm rushing to the theater now. Number three. Thank you for inviting me to the party. You're welcome. Let's get some cake. Number four. What's your cell phone number? I live at 67 Maple Lane. Brilliant, everyone. Now it's time for you to check the answer with the teacher. So for number one, B, let's meet at two o'clock. And the girl says, sounds good, I'll see you then. Two, girl, the movie, is, the movie will start soon. Where are you? B, I'm, bro, I'm sorry, I'm rushing to the cereal now. Three, thanks for inviting me to the party. What's your cell phone number? Sorry, uh, you're welcome. Let's, let's get some cake. G, what's your cell phone number? I live at 67 Maple Lane. So after you listen from Dorian Dragori and you have a listen from me, like you can see number four is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because the girl asked for the phone number and then the boy tell about the address. So the, the unnatural or oh, incorrect dialogue is like, sorry, is number number four. Now let's go to checkpoint C, choose the best answers for each question. So there, there are two questions, but for one question, there are four answers for you to choose. So you have to choose only one that match with the, an, the answer. Now the child would like to play three times for you to listen and then find the answer all together. All right, let's start. Checkpoint C. 
Listen. Choose the best answer for each question. There is a new student in my class. His name is Zach. He is from New Zealand. He seems like a nice boy, but he's very shy and quiet. I think he feels lonely too. I like meeting people, so I will try to become his friend. He reads superhero comic books during lunchtime. I love to read comic books too. And I just bought a new superhero video game. That's something we have in common. Brilliant, everyone. Have you done? So now it's time for you to check the answer with the chair again. For number one, the question is where is Zach from? Where is Zach from? So where is he from? A. Canada. B. New Zealand. C. The United, the United States Kingdom. Sorry, the United Kingdom. D. Mexico. So let's go to our listening all together. There is a new student is in my class. His name is Zach. He is from New Zealand. So the correct answer is New Zealand, right? New Zealand. Letter, letter B. And number two, what do the boys have in common? So what, what, what does he have? So let's go next. He seems like a nice boy, but he's very shy and quiet. So he, he, he's shy but quiet, right? I think he's feel lonely too. I like meeting people, so I will try to become his friend. Now let's go to our choice all together for the answer. A, they are both very shy. B, they are both, they are both new students. They, they both like comic book. They both dislike superhero. So which one is the correct answer? What do you think? All right. Before you understand this one, let's continue with another, um, another, another story. He reads superhero comic books during lunchtime. I love to read comic books too. And I just, brought, I just bought a new superhero video games. That's something we have in common. So what is the correct answer that they have in common? So this means that they both like the comic, comic book. So the correct answer is let us see. All right, class. So hopefully that you can understand and have the same answer with teacher. After you finish our exercises, now let's go to our workbook. So workbook on page seven. You can open on page seven. Then listen from the audio track up checkpoint C, track eighteen. After that, fill in the blanks. After you finish fill in the blanks, you can submit to your homeroom teacher. If there's still any question, you can ask him or her anytime. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow and have a nice day. Good luck.